Hey guys and welcome back to another video, hope you are okay on that side of the screen and on the last video we took a look on the Mystic TV 4K connected to this uh, dash right over here, direct attached storage so we did transform that multimedia device which has 8 gigabytes of internal storage to a unit which has 16 terabytes of storage if you haven't checked that out I will leave a link right over here on the YouTube card so that you can check it out now one of the great things right over here is that we can expand any storage of any computer in this particular case I've got a MacBook Pro right over here 256 gigs which is enough for the portability needs but once I arrive home I do feel the need that I need more and sorry about the redundancy to edit videos to save my pictures to save my data and this is one of the use case scenarios for a laptop or for a desktop where I don't have the possibility to put in mechanical hard drives like I do on this particular computer which has its own 3.5 base but on my Mac mini right over here I don't so I need uh, solutions such as this one now in terms of the unboxing experience I will leave that towards the end but it's really an easy unboxing I'm using Toshiba N300 four terabytes each uh, right over here using four disks so a total capacity of 16 terabytes and one of the things that I was really surprised and really happy is that this unit right over here uh, in terms of Terramaster units which I did review probably most of them that exist on the market uh, it's not using screws so it's screwless we just need those uh, plastic tools and it will secure the drive which is just a awesome experience so congratulations to Terramaster I do hope that in the future in future models they use that system on Dash and on Nash by the way direct attached storage because it connects directly to the computer and Nash network attached storage which connects to our network and then the computers connect directly to and then the devices on the network will connect to the Nash unit so just a great option now tests that I did with the disks inside I did test out uh, formatting the hard drives as single disks and individual disks now testing that uh, in terms of speed I was able to get 200 megabytes per second on reads and on writes which is basically the maximum of the mechanical hard drive right over here I also tested RAID 0 across the four units and the maximum speed that I got was 400 megabytes per second testing RAID 1 I did get 110 megabytes per second on writes I think I didn't write down and 248 on reads so we can see right over here that the writes will go a little bit down and we will increase in reads I would suggest if you want speed to put in an SSD on one of the base and then the other base with mechanical hard drives for storage having that in mind I also tested out with an SSD WD Blue which we got 400 megabytes per second on reads and on writes and that particular SSD goes a little bit more it goes about 500 500 something megabytes per second which means that our connection is limiting the speed right over here we are talking about a USB type C 3.1 generation 1 and it's not reaching out more than 400 megabytes per second unless it will be more than enough for our editing needs 1080 and things like that to store movies to stream movies from a connected device to the network and so on and guys this is it in terms of the testing I'm really happy with it in terms of build quality it still has the Terra Master build quality plastic really nice plastic at the front plastic at the back but then the full body is this brushed aluminium really strong really tough and looks awesome and when we compare with other units this is at an affordable price a solution that we can get on one of our computers that being said if the video was helpful in some way don't forget to leave that thumbs up right over there which is really appreciated on this side of the screen my name is Roberto George and as always I'll see you guys on the next one